And mm-hmm. there is when I really learned the business of dentistry. You know, looking at a profit and loss statement, a balance sheet or cash flow statement, it's really easy, Gary, to say you need to turn your marketing down just a little bit, uh, decrease your lab expenses just a touch here. Uh, I know you need to lay a bonus program in. It's easy to say looking at numbers, but when you live in these practices and get to know these people and see how hard it really is to shave a point or two off the expense side of the income statement, you gain a deeper appreciation. I mean, I was inside of a practice at least Monday through Thursday, three days a week, and I got to see how these practices operate. Um, I'll never forget the first week uh, I worked the front desk at an office in Wilmington. The next week, I, I worked as a dental assistant. Then I worked at pouring up models in the back. By week five, I called my CEO and my COO. I'm like, look, what are you doing? Like, this this is not <laughs> what I signed up for. You've got, a, you know, a, a former investment banker who knows how to run models and knows how to run Excel. And he stopped me right there and he goes, listen, you are worthless to me if you don't know how our business works from the ground up. Mm. 